Adecos, every month the Valve Steam Deck's Twitter account announces the most played games on Steam Deck by hours played, so let's have a look at the results for June 2023. Starting off at number 20 we have Slay the Spire. This is down one place from last month with the Steam compatibility status of Verified, originally released on January 23, 2019. With overwhelmingly positive Steam ratings, Slay the Spire attracts over 14,000 active players a day and offers a playtime ranging anywhere between 11 and 207 hours. Moving on to number 19, we find Persona 5 Royale. The game's moved down four places from last month with a Steam compatibility status of Verified, originally released on October 21st, 2022, and boasts an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and around 11,500 active players a day. To complete the game, players can expect to invest anywhere between 101 and 144 hours. Taking the 18th spot is Monster Hunter Rise. This game has also moved down four positions from last month with a verified Steam compatibility status, and it was released on January 12, 2022. With a very positive Steam rating and attracts a daily player base of over 20,000 players, the time to beat Monster Hunter ranges from 21 to 155 hours. Making a re-entry at number 17 is Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. With the Steam compatibility status of Verified, originally released on August 12, 2022 with an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating, draws in around 9,900 active players a day, and players can expect to invest 17 to 43 hours for completion. Now at number 16, we have Hades. The game's moved down nine places from last month with a Steam compatibility status of Verified, originally released on September 17, 2020, with an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and still maintaining a daily player base of over 6,000 players a day. The time to beat Hades ranges from 22 to 96 hours. Moving up to number 15, we encounter No Man's Sky. Games moved up three positions from last month with the compatibility status of Verified, originally released on August 12, 2016, with a mostly positive Steam rating, still attracting over 11,000 active players a day, with playtime ranging between 30 and 140 hours. Claiming the 14th position is The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Down five places from last month with the compatibility status of Verified, Originally released back in November 4, 2014, boasting an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and attracting a daily player base still of over 17,000 players a day. To complete the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, players can expect to invest between 5 and 284 hours. Coming in at number 13 is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Games moved down one position from last month with the compatibility status of Verified, originally released on the 18th of May 2015 but being remastered recently with an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and a player base of around 22,500 players a day, time to beat ranging anywhere between 56 and 107 hours. At number 12 we have NBA 2K23. Games moved down one position from last month with the Steam compatibility status of Verified, released back in September 2022, with a mixed Steam rating, still attracting a massive player base of over 43,000 players a day, and a time to beat of around 39 to 68 hours. Moving up to number 11, we find Fallout 4. Games moved up five positions from last month, and listed as playable for Steam Deck compatibility, released back in November 2015 with a very positive Steam rating, still attracting over 25,500 active players a day, with a time to beat of around 27 to 158 hours. Breaking into the top 10, we have Brotato. Games moved up seven positions from last month with a verified Steam Deck compatibility status, released in June 2023, Boasts an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and over 22,500 active players a day. Short or long time to completion for this one, anywhere between 4 and 47 hours. Moving on to number 9, we have the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. Down one position from last month with playable Steam Deck compatibility status. Released in October 2016 with a very positive Steam rating, still maintaining a player base of over 31,500 players a day and a time to beat of anywhere between 26 and 208 hours. 
Taking the 8th spot is Hogwarts Legacy. Down 4 places from last month with the Steam compatibility status of Verified, released earlier this year in February 2023. It holds a very positive Steam rating and has an active player base of around 18,000 players a day. To complete this one, it will take you anywhere between 26 and 66 hours. At number 7 we have Cyberpunk 2077. Games moved up 3 places from last month with the Steam compatibility status of Verified, released in December 2020 with a mostly positive Steam rating, maintaining a daily player base of 25,000 active a day, with a time to beat of around 24 to 103 hours. Claiming the 6th position is Vampire Survivors, down another 3 places this month with the Steam compatibility status of Verified, originally released back in October 2022, still sporting an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and over 6,500 active players a day, and a time to beat of anywhere between 11 and 43 hours. Into the top 5 we have Red Dead Redemption 2, down 1 position from last month with the Steam compatibility rating of Playable, Originally released in December 2019 with a very positive Steam rating, maintaining a massive player base of over 40,500 players a day, with a completion time of anywhere between 50 and 179 hours. Moving on to number 4, we have Stardew Valley. Down two positions from last month, with the Steam compatibility status of Verified. Originally released back in February 2016, has an overwhelmingly positive Steam rating and attracts a staggering player base of over 45,500 active a day. Stardew Valley has a very chill vibe and can expect to invest anywhere between 52 and 158 hours to complete this one. Claiming the third position is Grand Theft Auto 5. Up two positions from last month with playable Steam Deck compatibility status, originally released back in April 2015 with a very positive Steam rating, maintains a massive daily player base of 163,000 plus a day. The playtime for Grand Theft Auto 5 ranges anywhere between 31 and 82 hours, not including hundreds online. At number two, we have Elden Ring. The game's down one position from last month with the Steam Deck compatibility status of Verified, released in February 2022 and winning game of the year. The very positive Steam rating still has an active player base of over 45,000 a day, and you can expect to invest anywhere between 57 and 133 hours to complete this one. And finally, claiming the top spot at number one, we have Street Fighter VI. This is a brand new entry as it was only released on the 2nd of June this year with the compatibility status of Verified after a little bit of a rocky start, has a very positive Steam rating and has over 36,500 active players a day. Beat Street Fighter VI, players can expect anywhere between 16 and 60 hours of game time, not including however many you want to spend online multiplayer. That's our list for this week. Let us know in the comments below which games you've been playing either on or off Steam. And don't forget to check out our weekly top verified and playable games each week. And we'll keep you up to date with the monthly games next month. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.